Good afternoon. Uh, I am posting a video not too long ago. I, I mean, it wasn't too long ago that I posted it, and that was an afternoon too that I posted the, uh, that was the beginning of the afternoon that I posted the last video on independence. Uh, I wanted to talk about more about unprotected um, versus protected world, uh, meaning uh, unprotected, more danger, more risk, and the protected world being more fixed, um, more predictable, more, um, easier to last in, uh, more friendly, softer, um, comfortable, and nicer uh, versus a world where things aren't so. Um, now, I, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean. Um, more money doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a more intense world or something like that. Uh, that that's not the case at all. Um, the amount of money being less or more is not, not the deal there. Um, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like swimming with sharks versus swimming with, um, a school of tuna and, um, guppies. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, their worlds are just different. And I talked last night about choice and about belonging. And I feel like my choice and my belonging, uh, now I realize, are almost one, basically. Uh, my choices and my belonging is, is, is almost like one world. Um, you see, the, the thing is, how can everybody uh, pass or be in one world uh, when there's kind of like a cutthroat, dangerous uh, uh, area? You know what I mean? I, I mean to say like, dude, I robbed the bank. I'm not, uh, I'm not your sweetheart. You know, I don't uh, work in a bakery shop and bake goods and then come home and uh, hug my wife uh, and, 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 and tell her that she's amazing. And then we watch movies together uh, while we have our phones out, checking our Facebooks and dropping comments. Uh, no, that's not me. Um, and that will never be me. And that's not that I'm trying to prove a point that I want to have a Harley and I want to be the cool old man or anything like that or the cool middle-aged man. No, that's not the case at all. But uh, the way I'm bred, uh, the way I'm built and, and, and what I am uh, will not allow me to go into that. Um, you, you, gotta, you gotta know something that when it comes to the safe, protected, happy, friendly, nice world, you gotta remember that um, some people don't get tickets, right? Uh, some of us don't get to go into that world and some of us don't get to live like that. Pretty much not allowed to. And when it comes to our world, absolutely everyone is invited, which is so strange. I mean, you think it, it, it would be the other way around. We would be the ones that were more... Um, unique or, or, or difficult to get into, but, but that's not the case at all. Anyone is welcome and anyone can get a ticket to our world, but we can't get tickets to their world, which is, which is pretty much most of the world. We can't get tickets into that world. They don't want us there because we represent everything that is opposing them. You know, um, our lifestyles, our choices, the things we do, it's like, uh, <clears throat> doesn't work in their world, they see us as viruses uh, that don't belong in their world. And they're right, we don't belong in their world. And why would we choose to be in their world anyways? Um, now, on the flip side, they are all invited to our world. I mean, when a shark is in the ocean, a shark never repels um, creatures or, 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 or fish or whatever. A shark doesn't go roar right? The, a shark doesn't roar in the water and tell all the fish to get away from it. It never does. It never tells the fish, you got to leave, you got to get away. It, it will never do that. It's not in its nature. Um, it, it may not necessarily even hurt any fish. And that's what sometimes fish are actually confident enough to swim along sharks. But remember that the key word there sometimes, you see, if, if, if uh, most of the time they will get eaten, right? Because they make an easy meal. If, they, if you come around the shark, rather than it have to chase you into, into your world under the uh, whatever like protective barriers you have and, and the beaches that you're near to and the oceans you're near to where there are people and boats to, to protect you or, or, or to discourage killing you and eating you, 
Um, rather than do that, it can just eat you when, it, when, when you come into its world. So we don't need to, um, I mean, we're not trying to deter anybody from coming into our world. We're not trying to stop them. We're giving free tickets for anybody who wants to join. Absolutely anybody who wants to join. But the thing is that uh, when you do come into that world, you're going to have to accept the fact that there's a quite a bit of danger, um, risk. Uh, there's no love around there. Uh, sharks don't act like dolphins. They don't do tricks for human beings, uh, swim with human beings, smile at human beings. Let, you know what I mean? Interact with uh, sharks. Don't do that at all. Okay. Sharks don't do that stuff. So you are allowed to come in, but is there a deterrent there? Um, you decide for yourself, but before, and I know this before any, typically all the, I would say the prey fish, typically they swim in a school. They call it a school. And when you have a school of fish, almost never, maybe almost never ever, uh, will the whole school decide that we're going to swim toward the shark. doesn't work like that. Um, if it did, the shark would be very happy because it would be fed very well. So that's the deal, and I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna, I, I like these short videos more where I don't have to explain much, and I'm gonna say good afternoon again, and this is the end of the video.